Hey everyone, this week we'll be covering advanced Python and more specifically dictionaries and list comprehensions. So our first example is a list comprehension example which says given the following list, modify it to contain each player's last name and print out the new list in one line of code. We have a list of NBA players here and I encourage you to try to write the list comprehension but Maybe if you're stuck, a good way to start is to just write it out how you normally would. Maybe we would say new list equals a new list. And for player in NBA players, new list dot append. And then we need to somehow get the last name out. This might be a good application of the dot split function on strings and we'll split by space and then we'll get the first indice, which is their last name. And then finally, we'll print the new list. And that worked. So we got Jokic, James, Curry, and so forth. Now, let's try writing this with a list comprehension. So I'm gonna comment all of this out. We will just say print, and this is in a list, so we'll know to have brackets, and then what we need to do is player.split. So we have already written this code. We're basically just rewriting as a list comprehension. Player.split at one for player in NBA players. And it's really as simple as that. That'll give us the exact same output. And just to reiterate what we're doing here, in list comprehensions, we can have for loops. And then it's a little weird at first, but we almost have the inside of the for loop on the left of it. And we can also add Boolean expressions in here. Um, maybe if len NBA players is two, which would print out nothing. But in this example, we're just trying to get the last names out, which works with that list comprehension. Next, we have a dictionary problem, which is dealing with countries and their capitals. So the first step here is to update the capital of Indonesia to Nusantara. And you should know how to do this. This is just our basic dictionary access. So we'll say capitals and then the bracket notation similar to what we do with lists. And we can say at key Indonesia equals new centara. Next, we need to remove the country Tatooine from the dictionary. So we'll use the dictionary del keyword and again, we're just going to use our dictionary access. So capitals at Tatooine, delete that. That looks good. Then we need to add a country named Turkey with capital Ankara to the dictionary. So this is the dictionary update function. And we do use curly brackets to pass in some new value to our dictionary. So some new key and value, I should say. So capitals dot update, our key is Turkey and our value is Ankara. Finally, we want to print out each dictionary in the format capital country. So in this case, we may want to actually iterate over the dictionary. So we can use a special for in syntax. We can say for key and value, you'll see KV sometimes. But in this case, we do want to name these variables more meaningfully. So we know the key is the country, the value is the capital. And then we say in capitals, but it's actually capitals dot items, which returns the dictionary. That's a function which gives us that dictionary. Finally, we'll just print this out. I'll use F string formatting. We'll say capital, comma, country. And I did add a little note at the bottom here. We can also use sorted to sort the dictionary by key. And this is important because maybe you want to sort by value, but that's going to be a little harder and a little more nuanced. So we won't get into that, but that is possible. But in this case, we'll just say sorted capitals dot items to get a alphabetical order list. Let's let's print this out. So first, let's just check. It looks like Indonesia. Where is Indonesia? Right in the middle here. Nusantara. It updated correctly. 
Tatooine is nowhere to be seen in this dictionary. We add a turkey and everything is sorted by key again. So country is the key, even though we're printing it out second. So we have A, B, C, and so forth. And so that worked. All right, that's it for our quick lecture on more Python. Good luck on the final.